Well, hello, Secretary Warmoth. It's wonderful to have you here at AOSA at our Defense News booth. Um, I know that you have been very busy the last couple of days uh, seeing what industry has to offer at the show, hearing from soldiers, um, and I'm sure you are learning a lot. Um, so going into AOSA, what kinds of things were you looking for from industry? Well, I think, you know, we're looking for close collaboration with us, uh, you know, continuing to work with our soldiers on the soldier touch points. And I definitely saw that, you know, almost every vendor I uh, met with, you know, was just coming from a soldier touch point or going to a soldier touch point in the wow. near future. Uh, looking for an emphasis on open architectures, okay. uh, definitely saw a lot of that. I think that message is being heard. Looking, frankly, to see, you know, uh, our partners in industry team with each other. Uh, you know, in a lot of cases with these types of systems, one it's, it's rare that one company is going to be able to bring it all on their own. So I saw a lot of good uh, collaboration among industry teams. Um, and then, you know, I also was really impressed, frankly, with... Uh, how much industry is trying to do, I think, to support our uh, Ukrainian friends and really to try to help them find solutions, you know, in real time. And then all the way through FY23, you have, you know, a huge benchmark, I think, that you've talked about before. You have 24 systems that you're trying to uh, get into the hands of soldiers by uh, the end of FY23. So in some cases, what does that mean? Um, you know, it, getting in the hands of soldiers can mean different things. So. Uh, if you could just highlight a few things uh, that will happen in terms of uh, getting sig these signature systems into the hands of soldiers in FY23, does that mean some may get, get a prototype and they'll be evaluating, or is it more of a fielding? How do we how do we think about that? Sure. Well, I think you know most of the 24 are going to be prototypes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for example, you know something like Prism, uh, or certainly the long range hypersonic weapon. You know, as as you know, we have. The ground equipment for long-range hypersonic weapon yeah. is with its unit, and they're being able to train on it. Uh, you know, the actual weapon itself will be, um, you know, will be the prototype. Mm -hmm. But something like mobile protective firepower, you know, we are actually going to be starting to begin fielding. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a lot of prototypes next year, but you'll have IVAS out, you'll have MPF out. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit of a mix. Yeah. When you come back here in a year, what are you hoping to say that the Army has accomplished? Uh, so what are your critical goals in the coming year? Yeah, well, I think our critical goals are getting those uh, 24 in 23, uh, you know, out into the field, whether it's in prototype or whether it's in or in early fielding and trying to work closely with industry to make sure that whatever bumps and hurdles we may encounter, we actually um, get through. And then, of course, it's going to be, you know, turning to some of those other bigger decisions like the down select for operationally manned fighting yeah. vehicle, yeah. for example. It's an exciting year. Yeah, a lot going on. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. My pleasure.